to see you. Before we start our story for this week, should we do our memory verse? Okay, all right, everybody up on your feet. Come on, you can do it. Let's shake our legs and shake our arms and shake our body. All right, are you ready? Because I want to hear you do it. I'm going to be listening. All right, off you go. But even more blessed are those who hear the word of God and put it into practice. Luke 11 verse 28. going with putting God's Word into action in your life? Are you remembering the stories that Jesus told us and jumping into action with them? All right, so are you ready for another story that Jesus told in the Bible? But I need some help for this. I need someone else to tell me this story. Does anybody else know the story? Do you? You? <gasps> you, I can see your hand. Yes, you. Pick me, pick me. Ooh, pick me. It's just like when our friends arrive unexpectedly one night. Now, don't get me wrong. These are really great friends of ours, families, but they just arrived. No warning, no text messages or phone calls to just say, hey, we're coming. Nothing. It wasn't an issue, but we had no food to offer our guests. You see, we were supposed to do the grocery shopping that afternoon, but something happened. It's a long story. I can go into it if you want, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, we had no food, not even any bread to make some toast. So Dad quickly snuck out of the back door, jumped over the neighbor's fence, and knocked on the Roger's door. Roger was not too happy about Dad knocking on the door so late at night. He was just about ready to for bed. Roger didn't answer at first, but Dad kept knocking. But he gave us a loaf of bread and some milk for our visitors. Oh, it was so nice to see our friends. But that late at night? I have a question for you. How often do you pray to God? Do you talk to him every day? Do you talk to him only once a week? Do you get your parents to talk to God for you? God loves it when we pray. He loves hearing from us and he is always listening out, just like I was for your memory verse, for us to pray to him. Praying to God isn't something that we do only once. We pray all the time. It's like I've got a telephone that goes straight to God and it's open for me to use at any time. But who can we pray for? Hmm, let's see. Well, you can pray for your friends. You can pray for your family, and not just the ones that live in your house. You could pray for your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your nana, your granny, your granddad, or you could pray for your daycare teachers. You could pray for your church. You can pray for your neighbors who live down the street. What? You can even pray for people that you don't know of. Um, I've run out of fingers. There's so many things and people that we can talk to God about. And it doesn't matter what you say either. God just loves it when we love to spend time with him all the time. But what type of things could I pray for? Have you got any ideas? Well, maybe there's some people you know who are sick. You could pray for them. And if they've been sick for a really long time, keep praying. 
If there are people who are sad, you could pray that God would help you know how to make them happier or bring them joy. If there's a person that's not very nice to you, you could ask God that they would start being nice and doing the right thing. There's again, so many things that we could ask God for. And we don't just have to ask him once. We can ask him lots and lots and lots of time. He never get, gets bored or upset with us. He encourages us to keep praying and he says, he will hear us. It says so in the Bible. Guess what? Let's pray right now. What? Right now? I'm here in the studio, but you're in kids' church. And God says we can talk to him anytime. So get a little comfy, because talking to God isn't hard or scary. It's like talking to our mom or our dad or our best friend. They love us. And God loves us so much too. So it's not a scary thing. Let's pray. Dear God, we love you so much. Thank you that we can come talk to you anytime. And thank you that we can always ask for your help over and over and over again. You are such a good God. Amen. Well, I've got a list of people who I know who are sick at the moment. So I'm just going to take a few minutes now before I go make some lunch and I'm going to ask God to touch my friends and family who are sick. Even though I prayed for them last night after dinner. What can you ask God for this week? All right. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.